Hello, welcome to July 3rd reading for Saturday, July 3rd. I hope you are doing absolutely magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. I am excited because this is a day, this is the third anyway, <laughs> the day when I get to see my cousins I haven't seen in quite some time. I'm so excited about that. And Bailey's going to get to see them too, which is awesome. So I hope that those of you that are in the U.S. will have a safe holiday weekend. Please be careful. For those of you that are going to be drinking, do take Uber. Take Uber, take Lyft, something of that nature. All right. Saturday, please. A message for the collective. Ooh, we start with the Seven of Wands. It's a very defensive energy. Two of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. The Death Card. Oh my, all right. Wow, somebody's really afraid of vulnerability at the moment. So it's so interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have this four of coins and the four of coins is, is very much uh, an energy. A lot of people say it's an energy of holding on, sure. But it's all, it's an energy of, of, of holding on to what is yours, right? So there's this, this focus on not allowing somebody in, not allowing somebody in to uh, really know the inner depths of your heart, the inner depths of your soul, right? putting up a big old barrier around yourself. It can be very difficult to let somebody in if you've been hurt before in the past. And if you've been hurt before in the past, it, people often put up these, these giant walls around themselves. It's sort of, it, it's sort of this energy of you know, if, if this person gets to know me and sees a part of my soul that maybe I didn't care for at some point in time in my life, or maybe I wasn't the best person at some point in time in my life, then, oh my goodness, what are they going to do? What are they going to think of? It's, it's that song. Oh, it's that song. Could you let me anyway? Let me get the lyrics. Hold on. Sit tight with me. It's, it's exactly what I'm seeing. Um, it's Chris Stapleton and, uh, Pink is who I saw, who I, you know, okay. Even if you see my scars, even if I break your heart, if we're a million miles apart, do you think you'd walk away? It's like, this person is so afraid of letting somebody in because it's the fear of the person leaving. That's the problem. If I get lost in all the noise, even if I lose my voice, flirt with all the other boys, what would you say? Could you love me anyway? Is it for better or for worse, or am I just your good time girl? Can you still hold me when it hurts, or would you walk away? Even if I scandalize you, cut you down and criticize you, tell a mil million lies about you, what would you say? Could you love me anyway? So it's almost like this person's illuminating inwardly looking at themselves feeling like if they don't if they don't either change something about themselves or if they don't allow themselves to open up to somebody new will the past continue to haunt them or will the past be able to be released And could this person showing up with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, true love, right? True love, strong emotional connection, strong, strong emotional bond. Could this person love you anyway if they see these aspects of you that you keep hidden? Could they love you anyway because of something that happened in your past? Could they love you anyway because of 
you know, maybe how you acted in, you know, a past relationship or maybe because of how you spoke to them, treated them or spoke to them, spoke about them behind their back or something, right? Could this person that you have this strong connection with, this strong emotional, emotional bond with, strong physical bond, spiritual bond, all that good stuff, right? This, this beautiful connection could this connection still continue to exist, thrive, and flourish? Perhaps with that fear of being exposed, allowing your heart to be exposed, allowing you to be exposed to this individual, perhaps you're in the process, this is the judgment card, but, but man, does it look like somebody coming back to life, right? Perhaps you're in the process of coming out of a very difficult time in your life, rising up out of struggle, rising up out of conflict, rising up out of a difficult period. And it looks like you were afraid to accept this love here. You're afraid to accept that this person will stand beside you, will not leave you. Sometimes the judgment card comes when we're in need of forgiveness or we're in need of forgiving somebody else. Perhaps this is a second chance between you and another person. It doesn't have to be though. I mean, it could just very simply be a decision. Now where this is ending is, is really fantastic, but where it's sitting is kind of an energy of struggle. So love me anyway, but pink, check it out. See if it resonates with anybody. Talk to me about this vulnerability, this inner struggle this person's dealing with. So Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, and The Magician. The Magician for me is really this, this person's trying to make something of their life. They're trying to create something, build something, start something, um, starting to gain a sense of confidence back, starting to gain a sense that they can move forward in life. But when it comes to love and opening up, there's still confusion still confusion perhaps in the past when they've opened up before in the past it's been uh it's it's broken their heart it's been difficult i do see this person is coming forward with some sort of you know fun flirty message but i don't really see much beyond that in the current state but where it's going is fantastic we'll get there in a second Oh my. <laughs> okay, you know where it said if I flirt with all the other boys, what would you say? <laughs> oh my, this person this person definitely has a, a strong flirtatious energy. Maybe they maybe in the past they've come across exceedingly flirtatious, um, caused some problems in their life as a result of that kind of energy. Um, the hangman in reverse, they've come to some sort of clear decision. They're moving forward. They're choosing to let someone in. They feel safe to let someone in or they will in the very near future. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups indicates that there's a lot of love, a lot of happiness here between these two people. And the Ace, Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles indicates a brand new beginning. Now the Ace of Pentacles could be anything. It could be, you know, it could be a brand new job if, if this is about career. It could be a brand new relationship um, or not brand new because of the Ten of Cups. My apologies. It could be a relationship moving forward in some way, moving to a new phase of its connection, that sort of thing. One more card on our outcome, please. 
for our beautiful viewers. Wow, my, my eyes are... Spirit wants to eliminate something else. Hold up, because my eyes keep going. And when my eyes keep going, it's because of spirit. All right. All right, so it looks like you may have been in separation from this person because we have the five of coins and the five of cups. You and this person may have gone through a strong difficulty in the past, but there's some sort of enlightenment, some sort of happiness coming. I feel this is a brand new beginning for someone, but it involves them opening up. They have to feel safe to open up first, and when they feel safe to open up, open up, then it looks like the two of you will grow a much closer connection as a result of that. Anything else? Ace of Cups immediately under. That's that brand new beginning. Three of Pentacles working together. Two of Pentacles, which looks very much like the Two of Cups. I think you're choosing each other. It's almost like... Could be Twin Flame here. Notice the butterfly. Um, both of them. Um... Usually you see soulmates, twin flames here, but this kind of looks twinny. The moon, the sun and the moon, yin and the yang. Anything else? The star, wishes, dreams. It just keeps getting better and better. Um, it looks like somebody's really just gonna have to struggle and get past this fear and worry of opening up to their person. But once they do, it looks really fantastic. So if this is you trying to find the strength to open up to your person, you'll know when it's safe. You'll know when it's right. If this is you hoping that somebody will open up to you, please don't treat them with um, any kind of resentment or anger or frustration. Be open to hearing whatever it is that they want to talk about. And do so with an open heart and a lot of love. And I think you'll see that this will grow and blossom to something beautiful. All right, my dears. Love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy Kiss Kiss. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>